This story is in Your Turn Practice Book, page 150. It's a shared read. The genre is expository. And just like yesterday, I want you to read this before you come to reading class at 9.15 today. Kids to the Rescue, Olivia and Carter Reyes, I think it's Reyes, founders of One More Generation. Essential question, how can people help animals survive? Read how two children helped sea turtles survive an oil spill. What a mess. There was dark, gooey oil everywhere. It slid across the water. It coated rocks and sand. It made swimming hard for sharks and dolphins. The oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico was making animals sick and helpless. Two kids from a small town in Georgia watched the news. They saw pictures of sea turtles covered with oil. They watched animals struggle to move. As a result, they decided it was time to do something. These, the animals in the Gulf needed two superheroes to help them. Olivia and Carter to the rescue. Meet Olivia and Carter Reyes. They started a group that works to save animals. Olivia was seven years old, and Carter, her brother, was eight and a half. They named their group One More Generation. They want animals to be around for kids in the future. Olivia and Carter believe everyone can make a difference. They are sending an important message. Their message is that everyone can help animals. Olivia and Carter watched oil spread for miles across the Gulf. More and more animals were getting sick. The Kemp's Ridley turtle was one of them. There are only a few thousand left in the world. They are endangered, and their population, there's a vocabulary word, their population is getting smaller and smaller. The oil threatened, oh, another vocabulary word, the oil threatened to ruin their homes and their habitat. Olivia and Carter Reyes learned how oil harms Kemp's Ridley turtles. And the other caption says, this female turtle is clean and healthy. It is being returned to the Gulf. Oil spoils everything. Olivia and Carter learned that the female turtles were swimming across the Gulf to Mexico. They were going to lay eggs on the beaches there, but the thick oil destroyed the resources the turtles need to live. There's a vocabulary word. The harmful oil covered the sand. It made it hard for them to swim. Sea turtles survive. There's a vocabulary word. Sea turtles survive by eating seaweed, jellyfish, and small animals. The oil spill spoiled their food, too. Without food, the turtles die. Saving the sea turtles. Olivia and Carter recognized how big the problem was. The turtles needed help. First, they made a thoughtful plan. Then they called a rescue group in New Orleans. They found out that the workers needed useful cleaning supplies and wipes. Next, the kids asked friends, relatives, there's another vocabulary word, and recognized was one too, and people in their town. Next, the kids called re friends, relatives, and people in their town to help. They told them how the donations would help remove oil from the turtles. Olivia and Carter collected supplies for four months. They rode with their parents to New Orleans. They carried the supplies with them. Then the kids watched caretakers clean turtles, clean hundreds of sea turtles. There's a vocabulary word. With the help of many people, the turtles were soon spotless. Olivia and Carter's plan worked. It was a huge success. Another vocabulary word. And it says going to New Orleans. So they started in Fayetteville, Georgia. They went through Alabama all the way down to New Orleans. I've driven on some of those roads that go down there. Here's the Gulf of Mexico. And the key, this is a city, that big star. And the route is the dotted line. And look, here's Florida. We're right there. Keeping busy, Olivia and Carter work with many other groups to help animals all over the world. They give talks at museums and schools. They ask community leaders to support laws that help animals. They help rescue animals in danger. Olivia and Carter are truly superheroes to endangered animals. With their help, many animals will survive for one more generation. That's the name of their group. Ways you can help animals. Protect animal nests. Pick up trash at parks and wild places. Keep water clean. Stop using plastic bags. And there's a picture, and the caption says, Carter and his mom unpacks, unpacks supplies in New Orleans. At the bottom, it says, make connections. Describe the steps that Olivia and Carter took to help the Kemp's Ridley sea turtles. That's an essential question. You can do that with your guide on the side. Might help you get ready for my questions and for class. 
What can you and your friends do to help animals? That's a good idea to talk about as well. Thanks. See you in class.